Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I'd like to talk about the Nourishing Traditions Diet. We're going to talk about what it is and why it's so amazing, both for health benefits and for those who really enjoy delicious food. So the Nourishing Traditions book is a cookbook. It is a cookbook with a ton of extra information in all of these sidebars. So much fascinating information. It's fun to just sit down and read, let alone try out the recipes. Nourishing Traditions is written by Sally Fallon. She is a nutrition researcher and she is the president of the Weston A. Price Foundation. If you are not sure what the Weston A. Price Foundation is, I have a video where I talk about what it is, which I'll link below. But basically, it is a foundation that supports the research done by a dentist named Dr. Weston A. Price, where he went around and studied all of the healthiest cultures all around the world and found out what they were eating that made them so healthy. Sally Fallon basically compiled his research into a recipe book and included a lot of the information in there as well. The Nourishing Traditions Diet can really be summed up as traditional cooking methods. These different cultures around the world that still prepared foods using these traditional cooking methods were very healthy and Dr. Price found out how these different methods impacted the health and nutrient availability which really impacted people's health. He also saw how cultures that went from their traditional diets to eating more modern foods, as well as preparing those foods with more modern preparation techniques, started to suffer a lot of health problems that we see commonly today. Basically, their health was compromised. The cultures who ate their traditional diets using their traditional food preparation techniques were free from tooth decay, chronic illness, and mental illness. And we can do that today by learning what foods to eat and how to prepare them. So all of the recipes in here, like I said, are based off of the research of Dr. Weston A. Price and follow his dietary guidelines. So Dr. Price studied cultures all around the world, but some common themes that he found about different cultures and what they were eating was that they all consumed various forms of very nutrient-dense animal food. Lots of animal fats. A lot of them consumed seafood, and organ meats, as well as grass-fed raw dairy. A key part of the Nourishing Traditions diet is that we need animal fat in our diet, and you will find lots of recipes and ways to get that in in this cookbook. And the good news is, when you do it right, a diet high in animal fat is delicious. It's also important to be sourcing your food properly. This book talks about how you need to be eating grass-fed, pasture-raised, organically raised animals, and how that plays such a big part in how many nutrients are in the food versus the much lower nutrient content in factory farmed animals. And then this book emphasizes a lot about those traditional cooking techniques. Like I mentioned before, it goes into lots of detail and teaches you how to prepare grains properly with fermenting, with sourdough. It talks about cultured dairy, fermented vegetables and how that increases the actual nutrient content of those vegetables when you prepare them in that way and eat them. And then properly preparing things like bone broth. So all parts of eating are covered. It's not a diet where anything is left out. You eat all different sorts of foods and enjoy them properly prepared. It, you really are not deprived at all. It is such a delicious way to eat and I personally have benefited from it. I have enjoyed the benefits of much better health. And this video is the beginning of a series that I'm gonna start on my channel where I go through and show you how to make lots of the different important recipes from this book. So you can master these traditional cooking methods and start enjoying really delicious food that is also amazing for your health. 
I'm going to go over teaching you sourdough bread, bone broth, fermented vegetables, cultured dairy, and lots and lots of other things. If you're interested in learning these things, then leave me a comment below and let me know what you are most interested in learning how to make. I also have a blog at bumblebeeapothecary.com where I'll be sharing all of my recipes. I have a lot of recipes there already and there'll be a link to that below so you can check it out. I will have a link below where you can grab your own copy of this cookbook so you can follow along that way. And on my blog, I have a subscriber library. It is a sub member exclusive subscriber library. So people who are part of my email list get exclusive access to this. It is where all of my eBooks, my printables and checklists and everything that I've made, they're all in one spot. So there will be a link below where you can sign up to have access to that as well. I have a home remedy recipes ebook, I have some DIY skincare recipe ebooks, a natural beauty recipe ebook for pampering your skin, and some other things. Okay, if you like this video and you're excited to learn about these traditional cooking methods and the nourishing traditions diet, be sure and give this video a thumbs up. Share it with anybody else who you think would be interested in these types of things, and that also helps more people find it. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every week on traditional health wisdom and living a sustainable DIY lifestyle. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.